Gallstones. Introduction. Gallstones are a relatively common condition that may cause severe pain in the abdomen. Gallstones can cause serious problems if not treated. Laparoscopic surgery to remove the gallbladder is the most common treatment of gallstones. Each year, more than 500,000 Americans have gallbladder surgery. This patient education tutorial explains what causes gallstones and discusses the symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment options. Anatomy Special juices called bile are made in the liver. The bile is made mainly of cholesterol. The bile contains important chemicals and has several functions. One, it helps the body absorb cholesterol and fatty substances. Two, it causes water to be secreted in the colon, which helps improve bowel movements. Three, it helps rid the body of byproducts of worn out red blood cells. Four, it helps the body get rid of the breakdown products of some medications. Excess bile is stored in the gallbladder. The gallbladder is a small pouch that sits under the liver on the right side of the abdomen. When you eat fatty foods, the gallbladder contracts and pushes the bile into a tube called the cystic duct. From the cystic duct, the bile flows to the small intestines through the common bile duct. In the small intestines, the bile helps with digestion. Can you point to the gallbladder? Choose one of the following options. Correct. This is the gallbladder. The gallbladder and the ducts that carry bile and other digestive enzymes from the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas to the small intestine are called the biliary system. Can you point to the cystic duct? Correct. What are gallstones? Gallstones form when liquid stored in the gallbladder hardens into pieces of stone-like material. Bile contains water, cholesterol, fats, bile salts, proteins, and bilirubin. Bile salts break up fat and bilirubin gives bile and stool a yellowish color. If the liquid bile contains too much cholesterol, bile salts, or bilirubin, under certain conditions it can harden into stones. The two types of gallstones are cholesterol stones and pigment stones. Cholesterol stones are usually yellow-green and are made primarily of hardened cholesterol. They account for about 80% of gallstones. Pigment stones are small, dark stones made of bilirubin, which is a breakdown product of red blood cells. Gallstones can be as small as a grain of sand or as large as a golf ball. The gallbladder can develop just one large stone, hundreds of tiny stones, or almost any combination. Gallstones can block the normal flow of bile if they lodge in any of the ducts that carry bile from the liver to the small intestine. Gallstones can block the hepatic ducts which carry bile out of the liver. This can cause inflammation of the liver. Gallstones can block the cystic duct which takes bile to and from the gallbladder. This can cause inflammation of the gallbladder. Gallstones can block the common bile duct, which takes bile from the cystic and hepatic ducts to the small intestine. This can cause inflammation of the ducts. Other ducts open into the common bile duct, including the pancreatic duct, which carries digestive enzymes out of the pancreas. If a gallstone blocks the opening to that duct, digestive enzymes can become trapped in the pancreas and cause an extremely painful inflammation called gallstone pancreatitis. If any of these ducts remain blocked for a significant period of time, severe and life-threatening infections can occur. 
affecting the gallbladder, liver, or pancreas. Warning signs of a serious problem are fever, jaundice, and persistent pain. Which is the most common type of gallstones? Choose one of the following options. 1. Cholesterol stones. 2. Pigment stones. Correct. Causes and risk factors. Cholesterol stones form when bile contains too much cholesterol, too much bilirubin, or not enough bile salts. Cholesterol stones also form when the gallbladder does not empty as it should. The cause of pigment stones is uncertain. They tend to develop in people who have a liver that does not function normally, biliary tract infections, and hereditary blood disorders such as sickle cell anemia. The presence of gallstones may cause more gallstones to develop. The following people are at higher risks of developing gallstones. Women, people over age 60, Native Americans, Mexican Americans, overweight men and women, people who fast or lose a lot of weight quickly, pregnant women, women on hormone therapy, and women who use birth control pills. Obesity is a major risk factor for gallstones. Select true or false. Correct. Obesity is a major risk factor for gallstones, especially in women. The most likely reason is that obesity tends to reduce the amount of bile salts in bile, resulting in more cholesterol. Obesity also decreases gallbladder emptying. Women between 20 and 60 years of age are twice as likely to develop gallstones as men. People over age 60 are more likely to develop gallstones than younger people. Drugs that lower cholesterol levels in blood actually increase the amount of cholesterol secreted in bile. This, in turn, can increase the risk of gallstones. People with diabetes generally have high levels of fatty acids called triglycerides. These fatty acids increase the risk of gallstones. People who are on a rapid weight loss program are at a higher risk of developing gallstones. Select true or false. Correct. As the body metabolizes fat during rapid weight loss, it causes the liver to secrete extra cholesterol into bile, which can cause gallstones. Symptoms. Symptoms of gallstones are often called a gallstone attack because they occur suddenly. A typical gallstone attack can cause steady pain in the upper abdomen that increases rapidly and lasts from 30 minutes to several hours. Pain in the back between the shoulder blades. Pain under the right shoulder. Nausea or vomiting. Gallstone attacks often follow fatty meals and they may occur during the night. Other gallstone symptoms include Abdominal bloating Recurring intolerance of fatty foods Colic Belching Gas Indigestion People who have symptoms of inflammation in the gallbladder, liver, or pancreas should see a doctor right away. These symptoms include sweating, chills, low-grade fever, yellowish color of the skin or whites of the eyes, clay-colored stools. Many people with gallstones have no symptoms. These patients are said to be asymptomatic, and these stones are called silent stones. They do not interfere in gallbladder, liver, or pancreas function, and do not need treatment. Gallstone symptoms are unique to this disease. Select true or false. Correct. Gallstone symptoms are similar to those of heart attack, appendicitis, ulcers, irritable bowel syndrome, hiatal hernia, pancreatitis, and hepatitis. Therefore, accurate diagnosis is important. 
diagnosis. When gallstones are suspected to be the cause of symptoms, the doctor is likely to do an ultrasound exam. Ultrasound uses sound waves to create images of organs. Sound waves are sent toward the gallbladder through a handheld device that a technician glides over the abdomen. The sound waves bounce off the gallbladder, liver, and other organs, such as a pregnant uterus, and their echoes make electrical impulses that create a picture of the organ on a video monitor. If stones are present, the sound waves will bounce off them too, showing their location. Ultrasound is the most sensitive and specific test for gallstones. Other diagnostic tests include computed tomography or CT scan is another diagnostic test that can show gallstones and its complications. MR cholangiogram is a diagnostic test that can diagnose blocked bile ducts. Cholecentigraphy or HIDA scan is used to diagnose abnormal contraction of the gallbladder or obstruction. The patient is injected with a radioactive material that is taken up in the gallbladder, which is then stimulated to contract. Pictures taken by the nuclear scan can show whether the gallbladder is functioning properly and whether there is a stone obstructing or plugging the cystic or common bile ducts. Endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, or ERCP, is a test that can locate and remove stones in the ducts. The patient swallows an endoscope, which is a long, flexible, lighted tube connected to a computer and TV monitor. The doctor guides the endoscope through the stomach and into the small intestine. The doctor then injects a special dye that temporarily stains the ducts in the biliary system. Blood tests are often conducted in order to look for signs of infection, obstruction, pancreatitis, or jaundice. Many gallstones, especially silent stones, are discovered by accident during tests for other problems. Which of the following is the most common test for gallstones? Choose one of the following options. Which of the following? Correct. Ultrasound is the most sensitive and specific test for gallstones. Treatment options. Surgery to remove the gallbladder is the most common way to treat symptomatic gallstones. Asymptomatic gallstones usually do not need treatment. Each year, more than 500,000 Americans have gallbladder surgery. The surgery is called cholecystectomy. Fortunately, the gallbladder is an organ that people can live without. Losing it won't even require a change in diet. Once the gallbladder is removed, bile flows out of the liver through the hepatic ducts into the common bile duct and goes directly into the small intestine instead of being stored in the gallbladder. When the gallbladder is removed, there will not be enough bile to digest food. Select true or false. Correct. Most of the bile produced in the liver does not get stored in the gallbladder. When the gallbladder is removed, there will not be any stored bile. However, the liver will produce enough bile to digest food. This bile is emptied directly into the intestine. Non-surgical approaches are used only in special situations, such as when a patient has a serious medical condition preventing surgery and only for cholesterol stones. Drugs made from bile acid are used to dissolve the stones. The drugs work best for small cholesterol stones. Months or years of treatment may be necessary before all the stones dissolve. Extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy can be recommended. This treatment uses shockwaves to break up stones into tiny pieces that can pass through the bile ducts without causing blockages. Attacks of biliary colic with intense pain are common after this treatment. Stones usually recur after non-surgical treatment. Which is the most common treatment for symptomatic gallstones? Choose one of the following options. 1. Destruction of the gallstones using shock waves. 2. Removal of the gallbladder through surgery. 
Three, removal of the gallstones through surgery without removing the gallbladder. Correct. Summary. Gallstones form when substances in the bile harden. Gallstones cause severe pain and the pain is likely to increase if left without treatment. Gallstone attacks often occur after eating a fatty meal. Symptoms can mimic those of other problems, including heart attack. This is why accurate diagnosis is important. Gallstones can cause serious problems if they become trapped in the bile ducts. Laparoscopic surgery to remove the gallbladder is the most common treatment. Removing the gallbladder through surgery relieves the symptoms. Juices made in the liver can still flow into the intestines and help with digestion. Gallbladder surgery is very safe and very successful. Non-surgical approaches are available and are usually recommended in special situations, such as when a patient has a serious medical condition preventing surgery. Thank you for using Explain.